Welcome to the Arvada Center. I'm Janet Nunn, and I'm here today to show you how to paint some fun paintings. And they're just little things that'll keep us busy. And today, we're going to use some sheetrock tape. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this, or we're gonna use that, some scissors, and we're going to use some tissue to make some clouds with. These are fun and easy paintings to do. And we thought it would just bring a little bit of happy painting into your life. So let me just turn my camera around and come around the other side so I can get painting. I'm just gonna move my camera down so you are able to see this. Now, um, we have been using some note cards or we've been using some little pieces of watercolor paper uh, folded up. This is 140 pound paper. You can find most of that, most of these types of papers in any type of art store. And what I've done is I've taken and taped it down on this board. And you can see, I just used scotch tape, which works just fine. I usually take the scotch tape and go all the way around. You wanna go edge to edge on, on your paper. And today, we are going to be doing some fun buildings. And people always go, oh, I hate, I hate to do buildings. But with something like sheetrock tape, it just takes all the problems out of making buildings, especially for an artist that has to draw and paint every single one of those little lines. So I cut off the sheetrock tape. The reason why it's so cool, it has a sticky back and it already has the windows done. So if I just come over here and cut, I can have, well, let's just go on this side. I can have a very tall building. I can have a shorter building. This is kind of nice because I can just come over here and place the sheetrock tape right there. And it might be kind of hard to see, but it's really kind of fun. I'm just going to take another guy and cut all the way here and come over here, do another building. And if they're crooked or something like that, you're not happy with them, just move them over, pick them up. And then I need one more little piece back here. Let's get a taller one. And just gonna come right in there, kind of gave me an idea of how much I need to put in there. And that is so nice. So I have buildings that are already in here and that took just a few little seconds and you can just have that sheetrock tape. I might need that other piece later on. Now that I have the buildings, I need to make the sky. And that's the painting part of this. This is, this is what's so fun. Um, I'm gonna take some water here. I'm gonna probably move my camera up just a little bit right there. So you can see this next part. This is what I call spitwad clouds because I wanna have these beautiful clouds that are in the background. And so what I do is I take tissue, just regular facial tissue, and get it nice and wet. And the reason why we call it spit wads is you guys remember when you were kids and you had lots of tissue and you threw it across the room. This is the same effect. It has lots of water in it. And I might need two of them. I am sculpting clouds. So this will act as a resist in my, um, painting that I'm going to be doing. And this is kind of what I'm going to be doing here. And I kind of like this one. I'll move it over here so you can see it. Um, here's this. So these buildings uh, have lots of clouds coming in there. And so I've sculpted that. And now um, I'm going to use some paint. And one of the paints that I use is the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors. And 
they're already mixed. So I can do this in a matter of minutes. So it doesn't take very long. And a little drop right here, that's halo blue. I'm also gonna use ultramarine. Okay, so let's say you don't have these paints. You can mix these paints together and have them ready. And you can watch this over and over until you uh, kind of get the hang of it. Or if you're watching right now, just uh, start mixing, press pause, and here we go. Um, I have these wonderful skies that I'm going to do. And I'm just gonna take a little water and um, you're gonna use like a number 12 brush and just wet the outside area of the tissue and get some nice water going. Now, add some of that rich, beautiful phthalo blue. I'm gonna kind of come down here, maybe add a little bit more. And since this is at the top of the sky, I'm gonna add some of the ultramarine. Come down here. And then this cloud is gonna have lots of moisture and I'm gonna come back in with this clinacrinol magenta and just paint it right along the bottom. Now, there's a couple things that you can do while you're already painting here is I've got my paint there. What if we just go through and just paint some of the cloud reflections on these buildings? Look at that. Now you can really see the sheetrock tape. So I'm just painting away. It's pretty fun and easy. There's some of the quinacrinol magenta. Let's put a little bit more of the phthalo blue and then I'll add up some of these other colors. Look at that. So I have wonderful buildings right in there and wonderful colors. So there we go. Okay, so. Now, this is the tricky part. I'm just gonna move my water because I'm gonna need to have lots of room. As Soon as I lift up the wet tissue, it's gonna go ooze all over the place. So you have to be prepared with a dry tissue. And here we go. So that's oozing and this is oozing. See how it's just going all over the place? So here's my dry tissue. Just turn it over and mop it up. Oh my gosh, look how nice those clouds are. It is just the easiest thing to do. Those are all moving together. Oh, and here, I've got this building right here. It's telling me uh, you need to have some reflection in there. That is just really good. And look at the cloud. Oh my gosh. And that didn't take very long to do. Now, someone said, well, what are you going to do with all that sheetrock tape now that you have it on there? This is really fun. And, uh, as a matter of fact, let me just kind of show you a little closer. I'm gonna move that over. But you can see how everything is just mixing together. But now watch, I'm just gonna take my finger on the edge and I'm gonna pull this off. And I have the white area where the sticky was, which represents buildings, windows, and I can just pull this off and it looks like I spent all day trying to get every single one of those little squares in when all I did was use a tool like sheetrock tape to get it in there. I love that. That is just so nice. So see what the sheetrock tape did? I have this illumination of clouds right in there. And then underneath it, I have all these buildings. And that is just a wonderful way to paint. Now, um, I'm gonna let this dry for just a minute because one thing that we have is we have some mountains that are in the background. And I need that to dry. That's the one thing about watercolor is you gotta make sure it dries. So just to show you one more time, um, I'm just gonna move my board over a little bit and I have this um, 
already done sheetrock tape right here. And I'm just gonna show you one more time. This time I'm gonna take and use a couple of different colors. I wanna create a sunset and I'm gonna use colors like Hansi Yellow Light and a gamboge. I'm gonna use some gamboge in there. Here, let me just turn this around so you can see me. You gotta be able to see everything. So here we go. Let's hope I don't do too much spilling. Okay, so there's some gamboge and kind of have a little bit of red. So I've got some brilliant cad red and that makes it nice. And then a little bit darker tone. Um, and with that, whoops, that is just running. I will uh, add some quinacrinone magenta. And I have those colors. I need to do the same thing with my spit wads. Remember how I did that? I had the water. I'm just moving the water over to the side. And I have my spit wad right there on the paper. There go. Just like that. Look at all that water I'm using. And if you have little droplets that go all over the place, that is just fine. Now, let's take this yellow and come over to the top of the sky and say the sun is setting. And then I'm going to add some water down here and some gamboge. Just like the sun is just coming right through there. Add some of my brilliant cad red. And then we have to have just a little bit of the magenta coming down. And maybe a reflection onto some of these buildings. Look at that, that is just so fun. Hopefully you're just painting along with me and you're going, this is just wonderful. Now from before I had some of that um, ultramarine, I'm just gonna add a little bit in here just to darken up some of my, the bottom of my buildings. Just like that. And looks like I need a little more color right in here. I like lots of color and I like lots of drama there. Okay, now remember this step? This is where I said stuff is going to flow all over the place. So I lift, set it over here, lift again. Oops, there's my water. It's flowing like crazy. It makes just a wonderful sunset. Love that. That's just working really nice. And the blue just came right in there. So this one has a whole different effect that you can get. It's just that you're changing the sun or whatever. Now, as I did before, the most fun part is pulling off that construction tape. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. And you can wait till it dries. You don't have to do this when it's wet, but I need to do it when it's wet because I want to get it so you can see it. And I'll kind of hold it up a little bit. You can see it looks like there's a lot of light that's hitting the buildings. And then we have all this wonderful dark and light. It's really, really nice. So that's if you want to add a sunset to it. Now, the other thing that I was talking about, I'm going to come right back here. And it's, it's fairly dry. Dry enough that I can paint around things. And I'm just going to create a, a little bit of a mountain scene back here. Because as you're downtown and you're looking at the west, you're going to be able to see this beautiful mountain to just take shape. And you've got all these wonderful buildings. So I'm just going to come right down, paint on some of those buildings, get my mountain coming across and not too hard, just a few little lines here and there. Now let's just come right over here and make the mountain a little bit bigger. 
come underneath the edge of that building. And, oh, I got a nice little building down there. Add some of that magenta into that ultramarine. And there you go. And that looks really nice. Now, um, let me move it up just a little bit more so you can see it. So we've done the buildings. We've got this beautiful, wonderful background sky. And then we have some mountains that are in there. And... Let me just edge that up just a little bit more. That's the thing about it. Once you look at it, you got to add a little bit here and a little bit there. So there we go. And we've done a couple of these before. And each time I like to show you how to finish them because I think that's most important is just to finish one of these little projects. And to finish it, I'm just going to take this scotch tape that I used and come around and be done with it here. Now, um, at the Arvada Center, we're going to be doing some Zoom classes. And uh, one of our first classes is gonna be coming up pretty soon. It's going to be coming um, April 25th at 9 a.m. And I'm doing a class called Man Made. So we're going to be doing some buildings and it'll be really a lot of fun. Uh, Zoom has been really a nice way to go. Then on Saturday, May 2nd, I am going to go ahead and do another Zoom class, and that's on flowers. Oh, we are going to have so much fun on flowers. Now, the other thing that we've been doing is putting a little border around this. And here's my little straight edge. It's still a little wet, but I can, I can work around it. We can just work around it. So you're just going to come around. Take that Sharpie, go edge to edge, follow that line that you've done, and you will have a small painting that you can hang in your house or you can put it on a bookshelf and you can send to someone. Is it, wouldn't it be nice to have something like this in the mail to somebody? That would be really good. There's my edge there. And then I'm going to come over to my last edge and we are going to finish this off. And that would be really good. And maybe I'll see you in one of the Zoom classes. Our man-made with buildings will be really a lot of fun. And you can sign up through the Arvada Center at www.arvadacenter.org. And... You can see all the classes that they will be doing. I'm signing my name on this and just thought I'd show you that this is a wonderful way to have a card of buildings. And we use sheetrock tape. We also use some tissue, which is right underneath here. Uh, some paints, Sharpie, a little straight edge, and you will have a card to send to someone. It'll be really fun. And thank you again for joining us. Um, hopefully we'll see you in a class until we do this again. Thank you. Talk